What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm super excited. I'm doing a totally different video, but you guys said you were interested in it. So here I am. I'm going to do it. It is a vlog all about our camping trip. We are going to a lake this weekend. So I figured I would vlog and show you guys like the packing process, what I'm bringing, things I need to have at the lake, um, different things I'm making, stuff like that. So kind of random, lots of stuff in here. Good content, I hope. And make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you like my content and let's go shopping all right so first things first i need to go to like 10 million stores and i'm going to take you guys with me i don't know how much i will vlog in the stores because it's, it can be a little obnoxious sometimes but we're going to go to the dollar store first for different camping essentials that are cheap and then we're going to go to i can't decide if i'm going to go to aldi's or not i might just go to walmart and knock it all out and then later on probably have to make another trip to the store with sam because i'll probably forget something so let's go Okay, so first things first, I wanna show you guys. I do have a list right now of everything that I need to go and get. Um, I'm just gonna show you guys kind of what it looks like. So um, this, I'm just gonna block that. That's where we're going. But this just kind of shows like this is the night I'm gonna be in charge of food. This is just some essential stuff we need to get different stuff I need to bring and then I have more stuff back here, but I'm gonna try and stick to this list. I'm gonna make um, peanut butter cups, corn dip, cream cheese roll-ups and I'm gonna grab a cookie cake and then I need to grab like a bunch of other stuff. I might actually have to make a trip to Costco too. I kind of forgot about that. So this is my list. We're gonna run to Starbucks first and I'm gonna get a coffee and then I'm gonna grab probably a piece of banana bread or something because I haven't eaten today. It's currently 141. Can you guys see that? Can you not see that? It is 141. So let's go and do this. Alright guys, I picked up a coffee because Aaron's, um, I always get asked what my coffee order is, so I'm going to show you guys really fast. It is just a Vente iced coffee with cream, no classic, two Splenda, and then I also grabbed a piece of their banana nut bread because I'm starving, and yeah, that's what I'm having. Alright guys, so first, sorry it's my face, like right up in your face, hello. Um, lots of people around me too, but I don't even care, I'm over it, I'm over it, it's fine. So first stop is, I'm going to go into the Dollar Tree. Reason being is because you can get lots of cheap stuff there for camping that you can just throw away So that's my goal. I'm gonna go in there see what I can find and I will show you guys when I get out Well guys Success Walmart definitely just took like an hour But I think we got it all All right, so I'm back from Walmart. I want to show you the really cool purchase that I'm excited about we picked up these beanbag toss. I did. Sam wasn't with me. Um, we obviously are our Hawkeye fans, so we picked these up. This was 50 bucks at Walmart, which is pretty good. Um, the posts on the back are kind of like that right there, but like I wasn't worried about it. I looked at them, and they looked fine, and they'll work fine. So that's what we're going to do with those. And then I'll show you guys walking into the housewise um, what the kitchen currently looks like. Kind of a hot freaking mess. Stuff everywhere. But I'm gonna sort through and kind of just like, I'll show you guys recipe wise and I'll put them up. That's what I'm gonna do is I will actually like put the recipe like right here and just show you the ingredients over here so that I don't have to go through all of this cause this isn't really a haul. Like some of it's specific for stuff I'm making and then there's stuff like goldfish that are just, you know, like a snack to have on the lake. So I will show that here shortly. All right guys, so first of all, I thought I would show you one of the main things that we got for this trip. This is a 10 by 10 canopy. I wanna show it to you via the front. Hopefully it doesn't scratch on my floor. But it is the brand Core. I got this off Amazon. It's a 10 by 10 canopy. It looks like that. Um, we're gonna set it up over our tables that we have at our campsite. And I just wanna reiterate, when I say camping, I definitely mean in a cabin. In a cabin. We're not like out in tents, but it's still camping. It's definitely like, we have to bring everything. Like the only difference is we're just like not in a tent. We're in a small little, like super tiny cabin, but it's still great. So here are some of the things I picked up, camping essentials. I got some of this stuff at Dollar Tree and I will point those things out to you. But at Walmart, I got a mallet just so that we could put in the steaks over on that canopy and pull them out. I thought that'd be handy. A couple of Frisbees because Theo is definitely coming and I just think these will be fun. I got this pineapple pool float, needed another float, giant pineapple. And then at Dollar Tree, I picked up these sandwich bags because I don't care if I lost this or whatever and we need bags to pack for um, just like to have food for the lake or whatever. Some giant bags, some aluminum foil for like banana 
s'mores. I thought that was a cool idea. What else at the dollar store? Some light up stuff here. This, I think these are the necklaces. These ones are the necklaces, yeah. So I got purple and I got red and these little ones that I can attach to Theo's collar. Just like fun little light up stuff that you have when you're camping. At Walmart, I found this copper tone glow. I think this will be super cool for the lake. It's SPF 15 with a little bit of shimmer. I really don't, if, if I burn, if I do, I'm tan the next day. So I thought that this would be kind of cool to try. Also at the Dollar Tree, solo cups for beer pong um, and just drinks in general. I picked up three of those. Pretty decent deal. I picked up this mat for our cabin just so that I can throw it away afterwards, but it's always nice to have this when you're coming in and out of the tent, and, not tent, the cabin. Got some silverware at Walmart. Got some shot glasses at Walmart, but still at the dollar store, I picked up some napkins, which was a really good, I mean, they're all a dollar, so like, why not? Like, why not? I uh, got two tablecloths because my we're going with my parents, so i um, going to have two of these tablecloths. I think that's awesome. Like it, You would spend like $4 at, with this at like Walmart, so hit up the Dollar Tree for stuff like this. Paper plates. Um, got some tin foil because we tend to fry food at night. Drunk eats, whatever. At Walmart, I picked up a first aid kit just because I don't have one and I need to like accumulate camping stuff for myself because I've obviously always like used my parents' stuff, but adulting. Got a pitcher at Walmart because we just wanted one of these. This isn't necessarily for camping, but got that. And then over here, uh, got some of these straws. These are just in general, but I'm going to bring these as well. They just have, it's the metal to keep it cooler and then has the rubber tops. Got those at Walmart. Got some bug bite stuff at Walmart just in case. This is the bug stuff we're going to take, the bug soother. I've used this for years and really, really like it. And then also at the dollar store, I, I think I showed you guys, I, I showed this on Instagram, not on YouTube, but this is just a little tiki thing that I bought off Amazon with the tiki fuel and you put it in and you're able to like control the flame. I don't know how well it works yet. People were giving me bad reviews on Instagram, so we'll see. Also at the dollar store, I picked up some toys for Theo just so that we can throw them away when they're done because they'll probably be gross. Picked up a few things for him. Got some dish soap, again, perfect for camping because you don't have to worry about bringing this home. It's only a dollar and you can just use it and throw it. Got a couple scrub brushes, one for me, one for my mom. That's what I have right there. And then over here, I Sam and I are doing taco slash Mexican food night. So I grabbed some queso, I really like this brand. And some lime and garlic salsa, some taco sauce. I also have sour cream, fiesta cheese, um, I'm going to do refried beans, uh, and then we're going to do spicy chicken and spicy beef. I'm in the process of doing that right now, which I will show you. And then I picked up these soft tortilla mini bowls for probably myself and my mom. These are really, really cute. I felt like I've never had those before, so why not try them? Kind of like street tacos. Got some Doritos for walking tacos if my um, anybody wants to do that. Over here, grabbed some tortilla chips. I got scoops and hint of jalapeno. These bars are incredible. Some ridges, grooves, um, Cheez-Its, flavor plastic goldfish, pita chips for hummus, and kettle cooked jalapeno. We go all out, obviously, with food. Um, grab some waterproof mascara. This is the mascara I like, so I got like a normal one, and then I also got a waterproof one for the lake. Found this super cute Iowa shirt at Walmart. Look at your Walmart, they're stepping their game up, so I grabbed that, I thought that was cute. Recipe wise, I'm going to do these peanut butter cups. I will post the recipe right here. All you do for these is you have a mini tin here. You're gonna put the peanut butter in each tin, bake it with whatever this says, and then you're gonna pop the Reese's peanut butter cup in there, and it is um, absolutely amazing. They're so, so good, addicting. Gonna do some beef. I have a recipe for this. I'll post it right here. This is just standard taco beef I'm gonna do. And then over here, I'm gonna do cream cheese roll-ups. I have, what tortillas did I buy? Roasted red pepper, no, sun-dried tomato basil. I'll put the recipe for these too. These are super delicious, easy. It's super easy to make. Like I just always have cream cheese so you can throw these together. You can do so many different combos. I'm gonna do peppers, jalapenos, a little bit of bacon, cream cheese obviously, some spices, and these are delicious. You roll them up and cut them. Then this is a corn dip. I've made this a couple times. Super, super good. Always a hit with everyone. Um, mayo, sour cream. I'll post the recipe, obviously. But super, super good. Love dips. Love dips. If you're new here, I love dips. So all the dips. 
Got these all at the dollar store, so all a dollar a piece. Just good to have at the lake for, you know, obviously we're not gonna be super hydrated, so having that stuff on hand. Over here, I just have some cups that I'm gonna bring for Moscow Mules. I still need to go buy alcohol. I haven't done that yet, but we're gonna bring those. These big cups, I love these. I got these at Home Goods last year and we use them a lot. I love those. A few bowls for food. Um, my Hydro, my Yeti, oh my God. My other Yeti for coffee just to keep it hot, keep it cold. It's gonna be scorching, so. In here, I just have that chicken I talked about. I'm gonna do spicy Mexican chicken in here, so that's cooking. I'm gonna do that and then bring that in the crock pot. Same with the beef. And then as you can see, this is just, I'm starting to gather food stuff for the lake. Gonna bring some coffee, obviously, some condiments, potatoes, granola, lime for Moscow mules, bacon, wraps, bread, um, and then a lot of refrigeration stuff. It's gonna be hard to show you guys, but I'm gonna bring some summer sausage, cheese dogs, obviously coffee creamers. There's some iced coffee back there. I got that from my mom. Turkey, and we're gonna bring hummus, sour cream for, um, this is for the dip, and then this is actually for like taco night. And then, like I said, I have the Fiesta blend for the tacos. And then I bought some pepper jack cheese for sandwiches, mild cheddar cheese for a couple dips that I'm gonna do. And then, I think that that's it as far as recipe wise as in what I'm making, I think, yeah. I think that's it, but yeah. About to leave, already back. Okay guys, camping update. It is now 10.30, I'm really freaking tired. I have not packed anything clothing wise. I'm gonna go upstairs and get linens and stuff, but um, my countertops and my table are like actually kind of cleaned off. The only thing is sitting out here, I don't wanna put this in the car yet, I did buy a cake for camping. These are the peanut butter cups that I was talking about earlier. I have to pack this cooler with food tomorrow, but I can't do that obviously. And then I just kind of have stuff trickling out that I don't wanna put in the car yet until tomorrow. Um, what else? This is my taco chicken that I'm kind of just letting sit and simmer a little bit. So then tomorrow night for taco night, I will just throw this in the crock pot. That's a really easy camp food. Like bring your crock pot and if you can plug it into something, which reminds me, I need to grab drop cords. Good morning, you guys. So today we are leaving. Um, I have so much to load in the car, but it's okay. Um, first things first, it's not very nice out, but that's okay because that's what happens when you decide you're gonna go camping, pretty much always. It just looks shitty outside, but that's okay. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. I have bedding. Um, so the cabin we're going to, we pretty much have to bring like everything. So bedding is essential for us. Um, I haven't brought down the sheets and stuff, but I just bring like a flat bed sheet because it's like a, there's like a um, bunk bed thing and like a futon. So like we obviously bring whatever bedding we need. And then again here, I have all of my bags packed up, which I didn't get to show you guys this last night, but um, yeah, beach towels. Um, I have that mat that I showed you guys. That's all the food in that one over there. And then this one has like cups and everything. I think I showed most of that. But over here, I think I need to show this. Hang on. All right, so current status, I have the desserts. I'm gonna put these in the front seat. I'm gonna fill this up with water just so that I have that. And then this is just a cute little cooler from TJ Maxx. I think I've shown this in a video before, but I have a lot of condiment stuff in here. Um, coffee creamer and just some different things for that. Um, oh my God, I forgot coffee mugs. What the hell? Oh my gosh. I'm probably gonna show this on Instagram too, but this shirt is super cute and I wanna share it. It's from Walmart. I got it in a large so that it was a little bit loose because the sizings at Walmart are just weird, but I thought it was really, really cute. It says Iowa, they're kind of stepping up their game and then I just have this lace bralette thing on and my favorite Target shorts. But anyways, we are getting ready to head out. I will show you guys what the campsite and everything looks like, but those are my things I bring camping. I might do like another list down below, just like my guide to like what I have to have when we go. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed, and let's go camping. So this is kind of what the cabin looks like. It's literally just beds, a table, and you have this little mini kitchen set up here. It's really, really messy because I need to clean up stuff, but this is what it looks like. Um, this is the cooler we bought the other day at Target. It's the Igloo, fits 85 cans, really, really cute. I like it a lot and it's been doing really well. 
Um, obviously we packed it with as much as we could. And then, what else can I show you guys? That's where Sam and I slept. It's just a futon that you can make into a couch, which is really nice. Typically, my family, my family is all in one cabin, but we went with a lot less people this year. So, Sam and I just got this whole cabin to ourselves. And then, again, like I said, it's got the two windows in the front, and you look out, you can see the front of the cabin, which I love. So you come out here, it has one of our floaties. <laughs> it has, my lens is gonna fog. Point out to you guys that I showed this earlier in my video this tiki torch thing with this fuel it I would say it works I don't think it like repels mosquitoes or anything like that but like at the end of the night you can just see like all the dead bugs around it and like on the table so if that grosses you out maybe don't get the one that's actually for mosquito repellent because they do have just like a normal one but yeah and then we've been using the bug soother which I'm not entirely certain if this works great or not but um, if you're from Iowa, like the Cedar Rapids area, this stuff is from Raining Rose, Mom? Raining Rose for this uh, stuff? Raining Rose. Yeah, bug protectors. So, kind of similar to this. It's the DEET free, oh, which I really, really like that you don't have the DEET in there. Sam cooking away. And this is it. Hey! Hee! Theo. Theo. Hey, this way. Hey. There's food. The tricks are over there. Where the he, he's a good boy. He just likes snacks. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away. 